Hey everybody, it's the D-Rock and Hunter. Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we arrived at Snow Point City Gym and took care of the gym trainers, and we also explored routes 219, 20, and 21. In this episode, we're going to be finally taking care of Candace. And also, real quickly, off screen, I've done some leveling up. Yes, and it's about freaking time, too. My game hasn't changed much. We didn't really change much. Shinfaxi, who is now a Rabidash, you guys saw at the beginning, is now the second fastest fire type in existence. Meganura has changed immensely. I used some of my TMs and invested in, into Meganura. Tails here hasn't really changed that much. And Lapwing? Eh, she changed a little bit. Just a few different levels. Right now, I am going to be starting off with Lapwing at the beginning of this fight. We'll find out why in just a second. But for now, let's talk to her. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing. I was waiting for someone tough. But I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance, it's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose. We'll see about that. Alright, anyway, starting off with the Battle of Candace. She's gonna have four Pokemon at her disposal. Her first Pokemon is going to be a Sneasel. Sneasel is level 40, Dark Ice type, with Slash, Aerial Ace, Faint Attack, and Ice Shard. In Diamond and Pearl, her first Pokemon would actually be a Snowbird, Grass Ice type, level 38, with Avalanche, Razor Leaf, Ingrain, and Leer. If you have a Fighting type of any type of attack? This Pokemon ain't going to survive. Okay, so far not so bad. Close combat to the body. I guess. I don't know. Booyah! I took it down without even putting up a fight. Alright. Next up is going to be her Obama Snow. This is her third Pokemon. Level 30... Yeah, 42, excuse me. Grass Knight Scythe with Avalanche, Wood Hammer, Water Pulse, and Focus Blast. The Diamond Portal, her third Pokemon would actually be a Metacham. Psychic Fighting Type with Ice Punch, Force Bomb, Detect, and Bulk Up. Kind of a strange Pokemon to have for this kind of gem. Ready? If you have a fire type, this Pokemon is gonna go down without having to even put up a fight. Why not I tell you? Alright. Well, now what is your next Pokemon going to be? I thought as much. Pillow Swine is her second Pokemon, level 40, nice ground type. Avalanche, Stone Edge, Earthquake, and Hail. In Diamond of Pearl, her second Pokemon would be a Sneasel, level 38, with Avalanche, Slash, Faint Attack, and Taunt. I'd say Diamond and Pearl's Sneasel is much more better than this one. And also, if you have a, basically anything that's powerful enough against this thing, which is literally a glass cannon, then you can just kiss its life goodbye. Um, Avalanche... Is a, it basically doubles the damage if it... Oh! Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention. Basically what happens, it doubles in power if the user's damaged before its attack. Uh, which is not good. Um, let's see here. You know what? Because I'm feeling ballsy, we'll send out Mega Nura. Show you how much he's... I just realized. I cannot speak these days. And what better way to show you than showing off Sunny Day? And hopefully if I survive this, which I'm very surprised if I don't. I'm afraid! Ugh, this isn't good. Something tells me I should have thought this through. Um, go Tails! Do it! Go for 
Aqua Jet, and call it a day. Alright. Did she take it out? Or not? Uh, why are you using hail? Not a really good move, if you ask me. Ah, it doesn't matter. We'll just go for Brian. That should do it. Yes, it does. Alright, now! This is when things get rather serious. Because our last Pokemon is a Pokemon that does make it into my top 10 favorite Pokemon list. And who's gonna learn Whirlpool? A uh, Whirlpool is basically a move that traps his opponent in a vortex of water. But I'm gonna say pass on it. Anyway, last Pokemon, only in Platinum, is none other than Frostlass. Frostlass is level 44. Being the only ice ghost type in existence. With Blizzard, Double Team, Shadow Ball, and Psychic. Diamond and Pearl, her last Pokemon would actually be a Obama Snow. Level 42, Grass Ice type with Avalanche, Woodhammer, Grass Whistle, and Swagger. This thing hurts. Alright. Case in point. It has double team with Rages and Invasiveness, which is really, really, really freaking annoying. And it also has Shadow Ball, which does physical damage, I think. Well, considering that um, Ghost is counted as a physical type, not special. Which I think personally it should. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! What is this nonsense? Uh, this is not good. Uh, um, go Leo. Do it. Uh, we'll go for Thunderfang and call it a day. Well, not really. Come on. <sighs> Alright, uh, we'll try Spark. And are you gonna keep spamming Double Team? You're gonna run out sooner or later. Alright. At least I did some damage. Just want to let you know, Frostlass is probably the fastest ghost type in existence. And of course you have a freaking citrus berry. And it... First uh, move called Rain Dance when I need it. Frostlass is an annoying Pokemon for an unpleasant number of reasons. Sends your will to win. And be quiet. Or else I'll melt your frostlass. Um, by the way, if you guys are wondering, Frostlass does make it into my top ten list. Even though I said that already. I like to be very repetitive. Why you hate? Frostlass is my favorite ice type and my favorite ghost type, as well as my fourth favorite Gen 4 Pokemon. By a mile stretch. Making it at number seven on my list. And, oh, come on! Ugh. Game! Oh, come on! This is starting to become annoying. Okay, thank you. I don't want to have to spend another 17 minutes of uh, just trying to hit you. Okay, come on. No, no, no. Okay, God. Oh, come on! This is basically the trainer who's showing me how weak she is. Because all she's been doing is spamming evasiveness. She's showing me how weak she is. Okay, you know what? I'm angry! Because thanks to me, Batwing has aerial Crap! Come on, survive! You take it! No! This is, the s this is the third time this happened. I should realize this. We'll be right back! 
Okay. The third time was truly the charm. But yeah. Now that we are finally done with that, we're done. Alright, now that we're done with this, we get the Icicle Badge. Alright. We can now use Rock Climb anytime, even when we're not in battle. We also get TM72, which contains Avalanche. But unfortunately, I don't care about the Avalanche, so bye-bye. Uh, real quickly, off screen, during my leveling up, I got myself a new HM slave in replacement of my old one. Sorry, I had that retail off for a reason. Anyway, um, for the sake of time, we're going to deposit and make a new for the moment. Neat. Metal slave. I also caught myself a snow around. Also, uh, let me, I'll be right back, I gotta teach you some HM moves. Okay! Yes, Metal Slave has learned. Cut. Yeah. Rock Smash and Rock Climb. So now that we've taken care of that, we're now gonna be walking really slowly. And now we get the ability to use Rock Climb. And we get the Reaper Cloth. The Reaper Cloth can evolve a Dusclops into the awesome Dusk Noir. A really good ghost type Pokemon. Does make it into my top 100. Actually, in my top 30. But that's not going to matter for the moment. <laughs> You're not getting away with this, Team Galactic. Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you would save the Pokemon of the lake and become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But you, it's so cold here. Let's go back to the Fellowstone HQ. Oh, I don't know you. you. Don't I know you? We met in Eternal City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's what you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and another rival jump like that. Don't waste your time to come into our HQ and Biostone. No, excuse me. Nah, go trim that hair! Urgh. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. The Pokemon called Yuzi. He was suffering. I'm going to get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. It's not enough to just want to be the most powerful trainer ever. It takes honest effort and a determined heart. Like we didn't do that already. But anyway, cutting ahead to Violestone City. Alrighty, welcome back, my good friends. Uh, what do you have to say? There, would you look at those antennae? I don't know what they do, but those are some mighty impressive antennae. Hey, it's you. I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. Because of you, they took my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and I went back to his old country. I know nothing. I don't know anything about any storage key. Ball! Aha! You leave this to me. Storage key is for entering the Team Galactic Kaida. I have it right here. Frontal or so? If it, it is not possible, but we can enter their hideout. Well, will you enter the hideout? You have your reasons, yes? Oh, you bet I have my reasons. Alright, what's so up? Anyway, the hideout is actually this way. I believe it is. Um, we'll get that item later on. Here we go. Ah, hello. I, I have kept you waiting. What? We just got here. What are you talking about? Use this. And there we go. I will go on ahead. And what is this? And we get the Dusk Stone. This is an awesome stone. Alright, anyway. This place is obviously no laughing matter. 
for this scenario, I'm gonna to try to avoid as many galactic grunts as I can. That didn't last long. Okay, now that that galactic fight is done, I am going to try to avoid another one. Now, there might be some that are required. I'm not 100% sure for which ones they are. But I'm going to see if I can try to get to the Biostone headquarters in this episode. And... Alright. <sighs> Alright, I'll cut ahead. Okay. Now that that galactic fight's done, and we can finally press on. That's this guy. Freaking kidding me. Okay, thank god. Um bye bye. Let me try the right first. Okay, this took his time. I know. We just snatch. Worth those item. Don't care. Bye bye. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're definitely getting somewhere. Uh, okay, uh, let's go this way. Oh, come on! Okay. Hopefully, that's the last time we'll run into a trainer. We got the Dubliss Disc there, which is a held item which uh, evolved a Pokemon. Got a Porygon 2 into um, Porygon Z. Awesome Pokemon. And we get Sludge Bomb, which is another awesome Pokemon. And someone dropped a Galactic Key. Ah, I had to. Alright, just anyway. Uh, okay, at least that trainer's. Oh, God. Alright, now that we're done with that. It wasn't really that half bad. Of course, I had to go through a little bit of, uh, trainer cuts, but it was worth it. Now that we've got the Galactic Key, it is now time that we head up here. Uh, wrong door. Let's try this one. You make mistakes, don't judge. All right. Ah, uh, you kidding me? We got a double battle right here, and it's required. Great. Okay. Uh, I am not going up that way because that place is basically a place where there's a enemy right there. Yeah, I ain't doing that. All right, let's go down this way. Oh, are you kidding me? And, ooh, a max rebuy! That is definitely worth my time. Huh, I guess it was... I guess where they're going that way. I don't know. Now, I am going to try my very best. Try not to get avoided by the... Oh, try to... Wow, oh, I can't speak to you. Okay, never mind. And what is this? Oops. Oh, here. This guy's in the Team Galactic. What is the meaning of it? About to find out itself. Fellow members of Team Galactic, hear me. My name, as I appear as you today, is Cyrus. This world of ours is a crude one, and a world that is incomplete. It has been, and always will be, a struggle to survive in this world. Humans of Pokemon are likewise incomplete, because we are all so lacking. We fight, we main, it is ugly. I hate this incompleteness. That we all are incomplete, I hate it with my entire body and being. The world should be complete, and the world must change. Then, who will change it? Me, Cyrus and Team Galactic. Yes, all of you. Together, we poured over myths and exposed their secrets. Together, we captured legendary Pokemon. And now, Team Galactic has obtained the energy to change the world. The power of Dream is within our grasp. 
understand it, fellow members. Our long-held dream world is one of the first to become a reality. All those headed to Mount Fournette, and those who remain here. Though our missions may differ, our hearts beat as one. Let there be glory for Team Galactic. Boring. Fucking in my reasons. Whew. So that was Cyrus, the boss of Team Galactic. But the performance, no? Nope. Mesmerizing for one only 27 years old? It's really that old? Jeez. To make a world for Team Galactic and another one other? It is no preposterous. So much of it that it makes my head spin. A real world. What is that? And what is this incomplete world? Very well, to this case, such a matter is the job of the International Police. Of which I am a member, good Steve. And it's my job, therefore. You shall part ways here. Take extra care, my friend. And he just instantly vanishes. However, we're not done yet. Do we got a, a Pokey doll inside a bed? I wonder who that belongs to. <laughs> Anyway, I think we have time for one more galactic boss fight for the moment. Or not. Alright, finally. Now that that part is done, hopefully it will stay done. Alright, hopefully this is the right way. Bingo. This is it. My time of patience finally shows its face. I'm gonna go ahead and that one real quick. Alright. So you've come. You've heard my speech, I take it. Heh, <laughs> a big lie, of course. It's true, looking so far as my intention is to create a new world. But that world isn't for the likes of Team Galactic. I think an entire new world solely for myself. If not, it could never be the complete and perfect world. You see, my minions of Team Galactic, you yourself must know that they are unformally useless and incomplete. I know why you're here. I can sense it. It's about you see Mess Red and Azov, correct? You want to save them? I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I couldn't care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they? But still, you come to rescue them out of pity? Nah, you know what? Screw that. This starts off the second galactic boss fight with Cyrus. He's gonna have three Pokemon in Platinum. He's gonna start off with a Sneasel, level 44, Dark Ice type, Slash, Ice Punch, Quick Attack, and Screech. Diamond and Pearl, it will be a Murkrow, level 40, Dark Flying type, a Drill Pet, Night Shade, Astonish, and Embargo. Strange. Why would he do that? He's trying to keep me on my toes. But unfortunately for him, that didn't help him at all. Now, what's your next book going to be? So that's my friend going to level 42, which is awesome. Crobat, level 44, Poison Flying type. With the moves, Poison Bang, Air Cutter, Bite, and Supersonic. Diamond Pro, it would be a Golbat. Level 40, Poison Flying type. With Poison Bang, Air Cutter, Bite, and Supersonic. This is the fastest flying type and the fastest poison type in Pokemon franchise. At least day points. Who knows what changes will happen in Generation 6. Alright, come on. I don't want to spend too much time with this. Alright, go Leo. Alright, now. He is now down to his last Pokemon. His last Pokemon is the one and only Haunch Crow, level 46, Dark Flying type, with Drill Pet, Night Shade, Staunch and Faint Attack. It will be a Sneasel in Diamond and Pearl, level 43, with Slash, Ice Punch, Quick Attack, and Screech. Alright, 
Alright. Yes, we know that. I think. Hopefully one shot of my thunder attack should bring him to his knees. I'm gonna find out. Not what I had in mind, but I'll take it. Don't tell me. Oh, okay. It's just a city spirit. I see. I may lose if this pace continues. Like this. <laughs> now that we're done with that. We've now defeated Cyrus for the second time in a row. Interesting and quite curious. Indeed it is. You are indeed strong, and the basic of your power is your compassion to our Pokemon. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And, like all illusions, they fade over time until death banished them forever. And you know what? Screw you so hard. But he gives us the Master Ball! It's the ultimate Pokemon, and he'll catch any Pokemon without fail. Alright, you know what? You don't care? So? Which said Pokemon for this? Take the War Panel ahead. I want the Mount Cornet. I say, we take care of Mount Cornet, which we're actually going to save for another time. Um, I have a little bit of some bad news for you guys. Um,. The studio that I'm doing for this LP, which is Camtasia Studio, is actually coming to a halt this midnight. I got the one full month of a free trial on this, and as you guys can clearly tell, it has been a complete success. Um, so, um, if I were to purchase thing for permanent uses, it will cost me 300 bucks to keep this thing on here. Yeah. I do have that much money on me. However, I'm actually not going to worry about this until the second week of May, which is about a couple weeks from now. But, that doesn't mean that I don't have anything involving a backup idea. This next weekend, I'm going to be starting a PlayStation 2 game, which was originally meant to be this current Let's Play, but I decided to scrap it because... It has been a big success for me so far. So, this weekend, we are going to be tackling 16 giant creatures and break a curse to help rescue our loved one by using a forbidden spell. So, as my viewers, I humbly ask just a few things. Please don't brag on me to make another episode. For I am going to be putting this on hold for a while. Two, subscribe and leave a comment below to show your support and follow me on Facebook. Alright, so, I will see you guys this weekend for that PlayStation 2 game. We'll see you guys then.